softening the knees, stepping out, comfortable distance. Circle the arms forwards, back, down and sink. Breathing in, out. Bring your hands onto the dantian, closing your eyes, and just pause for a moment. Just remind yourself, put everything else aside. Let go of any distractions, any stresses, any tensions. Just put them aside for the moment. Bring yourself to the here and now. Feel the ground beneath your feet. Just subtly shift your weight. Just really feel that connection. And sending your roots deep down into the earth. Feel stable and grounded and present. Legs are strong, easily supporting your body. Spine is lengthened and relaxed. Breathing calmly. Opening your eyes, lifting the palms, breathing in and out. Feel the ribs expand and let them relax again. Letting the belly expand and let it sink in again. Circling forwards, breathing in and out. In, out, this time bring your hands to your sides, shifting your weight. Easing up, have a little shake. Sinking down once more, out to a horse riding stance, a little wider, swinging arms, starting gently. Small range, keep your knees mostly facing to the front if you can. Gradually increase your range as long as that's comfortable. You might even be able to look behind you. Just keep it flowing, don't force the movement. And now gradually slowing down again, nice and relaxed. Butterfly flaps wings. Now again, still focus on relax. Relax and flow all the way to the fingertips. Turning left for white crane, back to the center and the right center. 
use your abdominals here to help you turn back to the center for butterfly stepping in to close not one foot apart small step some stretches from the golden treasures phoenix wings stretch one hand down and the other straight arms and lift your shoulders shrug feel a stretch down the ribs the armpit go back the other way and open relax dragon curl we are stretching straight forwards tuck your chin a little brace the front of your neck start to curl and now draw your belly button in towards your spine that will help activate your core muscles to support your back find a comfortable stretch pause just a moment and now lifting up slowly keep breathing make sure you do not hold your breath gradually straightening your posture and then circle the shoulders Phoenix wings part two palms facing each other again straight arms turn open one arm forward one arm back lift straight up turn again you need to use your abdominals your core muscles here to help with that rotation open heaven says that only open as far as you can don't need to turn as far as I am and then relax and let's do the dragon curl again tucking the chin gently start to curl let your arms hang drawing in the belly button soften your knees just a little gentle stretch keep it comfortable and now lifting up again still keeping your core muscles activated feel those vertebrae gradually restacking perfect alignment we hope and we have a circle the shoulders and phoenix wings part three same start as part two but this time open out and keep on lowering turn the body keep your knees bent now we lift up the other side gradually straightening the legs back to the front and going back the way we came open out lower all the way turning lifting back to the front and relax it's quite a lot of overhead work for your shoulders relax and stepping in couple more of the golden treasures sinking a bit lower horse riding stance now we're still at the start of our warm-up so just keep it comfortable warrior archer circling around cross hands forming sword fingers open out fingers straight to the roof if you can pull back the other arm to mirror 
Now relax the palms. Lower. Circled across, forming the sword fingers. Taking aim. Straight arm if you can. You might feel a really strong stretch here. Take it easy. Relax. Lower. And sink just a fraction lower for the second time round. Gathering the arrows. Taking aim. Releasing the arrow. Watching it. And relax. Last one. It's still just as much focus as the first one. Stretch. Pull back. Stretch. Relaxing, lower, give your legs a quick breather if you need, we're going to sink down again, one more here, spinal twist, lifting, pressing one arm forward, one arm back, turn, lower, lift, Bit of strength. Breathing in and out. In and out. And now shifting your weight, easing up. Have a shake. Stepping out, comfortable distance, shrug, drop. Breathing in, out. One more. Pressing, stretching, opening up the side and firmly pushing down. And removing the spine again so you want your core muscles active. Just drawing in your belly button a little. Might like to lift the pelvic floor as well. Last stretch there, easing up, pop your hands in the small of your back and just very gently, again core muscles on and just stretch back, we're not holding it, we're just coming up. You don't have to stretch as far as I just did, whatever suits your body and let's just do that again, let's stretch back. All right, circling the pelvis, round the other way, circling the hips, and one leg now, so again, you need your core active. Circle those hips, uh, knees, any height, whatever works. Bring your feet together and just sink. Again, keep your sink comfortable and then gently stretch. I'm just going to turn side on. Sink. See if you can keep your knees behind the line of your toes. Gently stretch. And again. Gently stretch. Easing up bit more for the legs, 
sinking down. Full striding stance. We're just going to shift weight side to side. Bend the knees. Let that bend draw you across. And we're aiming to keep the height of the head level the whole way through. Listen to your knees and set the width of your stance accordingly. Just a couple more. Stepping in. Now we're going forward, bow stance. So turn out your supporting leg. You choose the length of your stance, make sure it's comfortable. Bend the back knee, lift. And again, we're trying to keep the head at the same level, no bobbing up and down. It's one thing to do it in the warm up, of course, quite a different thing again to do it during your form. Other side, stepping out. So we've got that slight lateral width to our bow stance. Bend the back knee, lift the toe. Really focusing on the movement, feeling the movement. Stepping back. Again, turning out that supporting leg, heel, out to the side and to the back. Swapping. By the bend of your supporting leg, you choose. Might be just a very little softness or it might be quite deep. Just trying to maintain that bend. We're really working all of our balancing muscles here. Again. Swapping. And one thing I always try to do, mostly, when balancing is keep my vision up. So if you found yourself looking at the ground, get your vision up. All right, kicking now. Again, we're going to keep the supporting leg bent. Oof, you can really feel the rump working now. Kick and swap. Toe up, strong, doesn't matter what height. Side, feel these muscles working. And back. And last rotation. This time, wheel up and down, kick, sink. Bit of one-legged squat, if your knees let you. Back, swap, up. Back. All right, have a shake. Ankles, bit of a circle, movement through the whole body, change direction as you do that. Don't try and isolate, everything moves. No part of our body works in isolation. Round the other way. Let's wake up the little muscles around the ankles. Just starting with a bit of just a bit of forward and back rocking. Let's give you a side on view there. It's not much, it's pretty subtle. But I'm waking up those little little muscles of my feet, getting a sense of where I am in space. Come back to still. We're gonna lift straight up. Whatever height suits you, just a couple of ups and downs. Imagine the crown lifting up. As you do that, send your roots down. So we say, stable. One more. Feel those calves working. 
And then let's just finish off. It's actually the last move in the Bhagavad Jin. We're rising up to the peak. Lift all the way, or whatever that is for you, down halfway, a little drop. You feel that vibration through the body. Up, heart way, drop. It's going to go side on so you can see my weight shift there. <coughs> Pardon me again, it's quite subtle. Up, heart way, drop. One more. That little shift forward helps engage the calves. All right. Hands now. Gentle. Figure eight. It's nice to do just a little nice kick around for legs, really loose. Keep your figure eight gentle. Open the fingers. Flowering lotus. Leading with the little finger. We're just going around in circles. Open your fingers, heels of the hands, there's our flower, circling around. And now just pause there, feel the stretch, go back the other way, lead with the thumb and open each finger, leading with the thumb, stretch, open, so you just do what your hands and wrists let you do. And now just alternating little finger and back the other way, thumb. And forming fists. Squeeze, stretch. A couple of those. Put that thumb around on the outside. bit of a shake and just have a really good shakes out breath in let it out you can lift up on your toes if you like there too big breath in out let's do that once more up Let's finish off with a little self-massage. Tool number one, our hook, but this part here is what we're going to use. Into your opposite shoulder, middle of your fleshy trapezius, little circles. And then just gently stretch away from it, come up again, other side. That's actually gallbladder 21, that point there. So press it in quite a few Qigong forms. And then stretch away from it again. We're going to do that once more to each side. So really stabilise your fingers. It's quite a nice surface for massage. It's not too harsh. And stretch. So keep your stretch comfortable. Just aiming for gentle. Other way. Two fingers together, bracing each other. Little circles around the back of the neck. Work your way from the outside to the inside. I'm just doing that a couple of times. And then just opening, just gently stroke. Make a fist. Tension here, or oh, gotta try and do this without dislodging those. We're actually going to massage with the knuckles. Circle. Pop them under your cheekbones and 
rotate. Let's pull one of those out and show you. <laughs> Stretching the tissues, let your jaw go. And that surface there is a really nice uh, way to, to massage there. Again, it's fairly broad, so you don't hurt yourself. Tapping. Start at the front. Work your way back. A bit wider. A bit wider again. And let's do that once more. Squeezing your ears. Start at the top. Five squeezes. Avoiding the ear pods. And again. Right, and tapping, good firm tap. Get on your own back, pat yourself on the back. Well done warmed up. Enjoy the rest of your practice.